So, uh, what's your relationship to monsters and especially zombies before Zombieland? It's funny because I didn't very have much of a relationship to zombies. Like, I, I love comedy, and for me, I was scared to do this movie because I didn't have such a, a uh, understanding of monsters and, and zombies, and that was the hardest far, part for me. But as soon as I got the job, I started watching zombie movies, zombie movies, zombie movies, and I like, you know, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead, and really studying the genre and learning about it. But there's a, you maintain a, a delicate balance between humor, uh, horror, and, and uh, I think it's a pretty sad movie, too. There's moments, yeah, there's like, you know, there's some reveals, like... Uh, Woody and his 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 dog and that 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 reveal is a sad one, but uh, hopefully it's a, a hopeful movie at the end when Jess when Columbus and Wichita or Jesse and Emma's characters get together. Hopefully that uh, will give the audiences hope that there can still be love in a world overrun by zombies. There's a rumor that that there's going to be 18 Zombieland movies. Is, it, is it true or? or? <laughs> this is the first time I've heard that. Yeah. But, uh, I think we'd be happy if there's two Zombieland movies. I mean, I think everyone who was a part of it would love to do it again. The clothes of the zombies, you, you talked about that being important. In, oh, yeah. In I, I wanted the zombies to feel like real people who had been transformed to, to zombies but still maintain a little bit of their own identity. Like, for if I were to turn into a zombie right now, if I were to get eaten, this is what I would be wearing. So I wanted to get a sense of what everybody was like before they turned into a zombie. But it's already been talked about as a cult movie. It's been a huge success. What's your next project? I, mean, I, I don't have anything yet, but I, I really want to find something because this was my first ever movie, and making a movie is pretty much the funnest thing you can possibly do, and so I just want to make more and more of them. What are you prospecting? You are a dangerous man. You're gonna risk our lives for a Twinkie? There's a box of Twinkies in that grocery store. Not just any box of Twinkies. The last box of Twinkies that anyone will enjoy in the whole universe. Believe it or not, Twinkies have an expiration date. Someday very soon, life's little Twinkie gauge is gonna go empty. Time to nut up or shut up. So how was it working on the set? I mean, with hundreds of zombies and Woody Harrelson and Abigail? Well, it was, for me, you know, this was my first movie, and uh, because of the schedule, we shot the action sequence at the end first. So my first ever week of shooting, I have, like, Woody Harrelson hanging from a roller coaster, shooting machine gun with hundreds of zombies chasing him, and it's like, I've never done anything like that before. So for me, the whole thing was a big learning experience. And... Um, and it was basically just like a dream come true getting to make it. So how would you kill a zombie to, be, to win the zombie kill of the week? The, 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 there's a scene where Woody takes the pickaxe out of his truck. He doesn't use it, but he has this like, long thing with a big axe on the top. And I think like if you were to swing that through somebody's head, that would be a pretty good one. You sound pretty crazy. <laughs> well, it's a zombie kill of the week. I mean, you've got you to gotta <laughs> impress people. You can't just you know, phone it in. Okay, so being from Sweden, I have to ask you, is there any possibility of you coming to Sweden make, to make a movie someday? I would love to. The, Sweden has a great tradition of amazing, amazing movies. Um, Let the Right One In is Swedish, right? Yeah. Which was, like, I think my favorite movie of last year. Yeah? Yeah, I love that film. Okay.